Good evening, church family. It is good to get together virtually again. We certainly hope and pray that you are doing well. You remain in our prayers. We've got lots of things going on at church as we continue to adapt to this new normal. We are trying to reach out and make sure we're keeping in touch with all of our church members. So if you haven't heard from somebody, that's an oversight on our part. Please call the office and let us know. Wanted to let you know we are still publishing a bulletin. We had 329 folks so far look at last week's bulletin. We'll have that up on the website on Friday. Speaking of our website, we heard you. Those videos were sometimes hard to find. There is a button at the very top of the website that takes you straight to our church YouTube channel. You can find the Bible class videos, the sermon videos. If you're watching this, obviously you found this video as well. But that's right at the top of our website. That's an easy way to point people to as well if you want to tell some visitors how they can get access to our worship service. We had 330 folks tune in and watch worship, so that was a great number for Sunday, and we're certainly glad of that. King's Copy will be up next week. We'll release April's King's Copy. We'll do that online. I am publishing some weekly videos to guide us through those scriptures as well so keep up with your king's copy you know it's been a, a crazy time certainly no one could have imagined everything that's happened over the last couple of weeks we continue to pray for our country and for our world as we deal with this but the truth is if you're like most of us when you first got the word when things began to get serious your thoughts might have been pretty self-centered do I have enough? Does my family have enough? What do I need to do? What about this? Can I get enough of that? Do I need to buy backups of this? And, and perhaps for most of us, our, our first reaction was, what do I want? What can I do? What can I not do? And, and we're very self-centered in our thoughts. That, that's an immediate reaction. But if you're a Christian, there comes a point where you come back to your senses, where we begin to think logically again. We're reclothed in our right mind, so to speak. And we realize, you know what? As a Christian, I'm a servant of God. I serve my fellow man. I've been called to love, other, love my neighbor as myself. And even as I love God, my service to God involves serving others. And so I begin to think a little differently. We trust God for everything. Our faith returns and we begin to say, you know what, God? Even in times of a virus and in terms of all the things that I might be scared of, I trust you. And there's a peace that comes from that. And perhaps one of the good things that's come out of our time through all of this has been perhaps you've had a little more time. Some time for rest, some time for silence, some time for solitude, even if it was forced on us. Maybe some time for meditation, some time for Bible study. And that time of rest, time to, to focus on our prayer and King's copy, gives us a peace. A peace that comes from knowing God, a peace that comes that, that frees us from the stress and the anxiety of everything that's going on around us. I'm reminded of what Paul said in Philippians 2 and verse 5, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Maybe we've had some time lately to really get our mind in the right place. Tonight I, I want to offer a simple invitation. A moment for you to, to take and think about your own place where you are spiritually and what you need to do. And maybe to even get right with God to spend some time. We'll sing an invitation song. Dear Lord and Father of mankind. It's a, a prayer and I hope you'll pray along with us. That God will reclothe us in our right mind. That we'll find that peace that comes from serving him. And it may be as you take a look at that that there's something you need to make right with God. That you can do by, by praying and saying, Lord, I, I need to return to faith. I, I'm a Christian, but I haven't acted like one. And perhaps there's something you need to do for that. Or, or maybe you need to become a Christian to say, God, I need to give you my life. I need that peace in my life. Our building is shut down for worship services, but the baptistry is always open. The opportunity to become a Christian is still yours. Reach out and let us know if you'd like to repent of your sins and confess your faith in Jesus as the Son of God and be baptized to have those sins washed away. We'd be happy to get together and meet you there and, and do that at the building. Tonight, if there's anything that we can do to pray for you, I hope you'll reach out and let us know. Join us now as we sing this song together.
Thank you for singing with us. I hope that you will join me as we stop for a moment of prayer, and then you'll head on over to our Bible class and click on one of our Bible classes, an adult class, or our teens have a class as well, and you can enjoy some time in Bible class with us. Would you bow with me? Oh God, our Father, you are our Lord and the Father of us. You created us. You know us well. You love us. And Father, we know that in you there is peace. I pray that you will bless us with a sense of peace in the midst of all this, that we as your people may be reclothed in our right minds, that we may think accurately about the situation we're facing. Give us wisdom. Help us to do the wise thing. Help us to, to love our neighbors. And God, we pray for an end to this time soon, that we can get back to life as we know it and get back to ministry as we know it. But Father, we pray that you will be with us each and every moment. Thank you for your abiding presence with us. We pray especially that you would help us to be right with you. Thank you for Jesus and all the ways you show your love for us. It's in his name we pray now. Amen.